One of the best ways to keep track of your clients and deals is to use a shared spreadsheet through Google Drive. Log on into your Gmail or Google account and go to Google Drive and open a new Google Doc or spreadsheet. This is just an example of a setup. Again, you can title these however you wish and however it suits you, but just to give you an example to work off of, this would be the client name, the address. So if it is a listing, it's obviously the listing address. If it is a buyer and they are in contract or have an accepted offer, this would be the address of the property. Uh, type, so this you could have buyer, seller, or renter, or landlord. Price, obviously, if there is a listing price, uh, if there is an accepted offer or something in contract, you can put it there. This is the fee. You can find this in RealTMX, the HGMLS, uh, what the co-broke is or what we expect to earn. And then this is simply the price multiplied by the fee. And then this delta is just a term, again, Delta is just a term for probability of success. And just to go back, P&L stands for profit and loss. So basically, uh, what the commission is. Delta P&L means the, the commission multiplied by the chance of success. And then follow up, this can be perhaps a date, uh, the next date that you wish to follow up or remind yourself to follow up with on the client. Uh, disclosure, this is important. This is uh, yes, no, or sent. Uh, this is the agency disclosure form. Last but not least, there is a status or notes uh, column on the very end where you can put the status and uh, also you know any follow-ups or notes or even search criteria. So let's just do an example. So in this example here, we have the client's name, we have the address, you can always press F2 on your keyboard to see what's in the, uh, the box. Uh, you can of course play around with the sizes, whatever it is to your preference. Uh, the buyer, it's a million dollars, 3% is the Cobra to us as the buyer's agent, uh, and then you can format these as well up here reduce the decimal places you can do that here as well and then so this is the commission due to us we put 75 percent because it's offer accepted again it's up to you uh, on how you want to weigh the probability of success of closing uh, and then this is certainly just the the weighted probability of success uh, this is uh, Essentially, if you press F2, you'll see that it's just 75% times the fee. Uh, we want to remind ourselves to follow up on December 20th. Disclosure has been signed. And if you go to the right, you'll see the OA. Uh, again, this is your personal preference. We put OA. It stands for Offer Accepted. If you want to do a CS, Contract Signed. Uh, and then you can always press F2 to see the full results. For example, as you go on, say you have more notes. You can always have this go on forever, essentially, press F2 to see the uh, all of it. Let's copy this, do another example. Let's say this is, again, Pretend this is a separate client, and now we do 100% of success because it is in contract. And we'll say, say 1215, contract counter signed by seller. 
This way you have a note to yourself. Let's do a further example. So this one, let's assume that uh, it's a mere prospect. And uh, let's say if you, but let's say this one is further along, you've started submitting offers, so perhaps 50% is more reasonable. And then there would be no offer except there a contract signed, but perhaps you would put today's date, uh, submitted offer on X address, uh, seller countered at 1.5 mil, uh, just an example. So this, this gives you uh, an idea of what, uh, you know, what's been happening with the client, reminds you of it. Perhaps later on you can even put uh, chain, uh, started looking at co-ops instead, 2.5 mil, two bed, two bath just to give you an idea. So this you can keep going for as long as you wish. You can keep all of your notes here and uh, keep yourself organized. Let's do another example. So this is a seller listing that you're on. So you have the address of the listing, uh, the listing price, again, the commission structure, and Perhaps in this case, we put 50% because we think the listing price is reasonable. We have a good shot of selling it. It's not an offer accepted or contract signed yet, but perhaps your notes would look something like this. Had a great turnout for open house. 20 people showed up. Expect offer on Monday. So just an example. So there you have it. Once you have this done, as you can see here, changes are automatically saved by Google whenever you do make a change. Uh, all you need to do uh, is every day when you do uh, get to your computer is to simply log into your Google Drive. Uh, it's very easy to do so. You can even open up Google Chrome uh, or simply go to google.com. You'll see on the top right uh, essentially your profile icon and it'll very easily take you to Google Drive once there you'll find the name of the Google Sheet uh, that you've titled here. Simply log on and you'll see your, uh, your, your pipeline. So this is one of the easiest and best ways to stay on top of the clients and deals you're working with. And remember, it's extremely important to stay organized, otherwise you uh, will very likely forget uh, to follow up on certain deals and, and this is the best way to uh, keep on top of everything. Um, and if you found this helpful, please uh, remember to like or subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we will get right back to you. And of course, if you're a new agent just starting out uh, or even an experienced agent, please contact us as we do offer one of the most competitive commission splits in the city, starting at 75% to you for your independently sourced and executed deals, up to 100% split. And we don't have any uh, hidden fees, no transaction fees, startup fees or anything. And we are one of the very few firms that offer that offers uh, verified buyer and seller leads and referrals. So if you're interested, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.